Hey, what's up guys, it's Royal. Here in my next video, I'm gonna be interviewing a very special person. In this video, she's gonna be telling you the goals that she's met, what goals she's reaching for, difficulties that she's had, as well as other fitness questions that I'm gonna ask her, coming right up. All right, guys, like I said, I have my special guest today, and my special guest is my lovely mother. My lovely mother, it's, it was just her birthday a couple of weeks ago. Um, I did take her to Catalina Island. I'm gonna make sure that I tag that video right up here on either side so you guys can go and check that one out. Today, my mother has officially lost about 20 pounds, right? You lost about 20 no, pounds? more. More, okay, I'm sorry. She's lost more than 20 pounds. And I thought, would not a better person to start my first fitness interview and testimony with rather than my mom. So congratulations, mom, on losing more than 20 pounds. Uh, we started, you. you started working out like when? It's, it's been a journey. It's been a journey. <laughs> <laughs> so recently you started working out and I wanted to ask you a couple questions. What has worked for you so that my viewers and other people that see this video can become motivated and inspired by your journey? from where you are now to where you want to be. So the first question I have for you is, uh, what about fitness and exercising and working out do you enjoy about it? I enjoy the results. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of, um, you know that your work is paying off, I feel better. Mm -hmm. My older clothes are, they're uh, not fitting. Okay, they're the older big. clothes, okay. Yeah, most of all, it's feeling better. Mm -hmm. And when you say that you're feeling better, what feels better? Sitting and then getting up, my uh, belly is not as big. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> or in the way. I remember uh, something that you were talking about was is that like in your hands and in your feet, they would be swollen in the morning or right, yeah. after you eat certain foods, yeah. you would feel that them get swollen and you would feel that you are uh, retaining a little bit more water. Yeah, exactly. So now that you're exercising and working out, you don't necessarily feel that anymore. Yeah, I don't have a lot of that retaining of water like you were saying as well as waking up in the morning and my hands are, they feel tight. So there, I believe there's some inflammation or maybe water retention in my hands, as okay. well as water retention in my ankles. And I think this is gonna assist with, you know, all my vitals like blood pressure, you know, not having to worry about when you go to the doctor, your, your blood numbers are more going to the wrong side than the right side so uh, and the next question what works for you so what as far as with your scheduling or how you do your workouts works for you right now i believe i prefer a morning workout where i can get up and get my workout in and then shower get ready for the rest of the day with the morning workouts how do you feel after you get done with the morning workouts? So usually after the workout, I do feel good where I go in and get my shower and that hot water helps with my muscles. With your muscles, yeah. Yeah. So uh, when you get done with your workout and then um, you take your shower, how do you feel after your workout and after your shower? Are you normally like tired? Are you more energized? It could be both. Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes I am more Tired, but see, that's the other thing too. That's the thing about maybe switching to the afternoon because sometimes I feel like after the shower, you know, I've had my workout, shower, and now I'm ready to nap. Mm -hmm. I guess that's my body trying to recover. Uh -huh. So yeah. that's why I'm think I was thinking about an, yeah. an evening yeah. workout. I feel the same way about my workouts too. That's why working out, especially in the middle of the day, is a little bit more tougher for me because when I go to the gym and I work out really hard, I understand what you're saying. Like I do want to take like a 15, 20 minute nap, mm -hmm. um, especially on a leg day. On a leg day, oh, it's like I have to take a nap. I'm so tired. Um, and then right after you take that nap, like you said, then you're rejuvenated. Right. And then you have more energy throughout the day, but I agree with you <laughs> about the nap. Okay. And it's just like my body is saying now. Yeah. So recover. You're right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, with exercising and working out, what difficulties have you faced? Well, what comes to mind right now is the difficulty of my own body. I've noticed that when I started working out, you don't realize how much you're out of shape mm -hmm. until you really start to try to get in shape. Okay. <laughs> and then it's like, 
you know, and then the difficulty is your mind telling you, this hurts, I don't want to do this, I've only been doing this for 15 minutes according to the treadmill and I have another 45 minutes, yeah. you know, all the negative talk. Uh-huh. But then after the workout, I remember, I, I, I see in the magazine, oh, that girl looks good. I mm-hmm. want to look like that, mm-hmm. you know. So that's kind of the motivation of going back. But it's um, your own self, mm-hmm. your own person of realizing, okay, I'm this much out of shape. You don't realize it. And then having to actually fight yourself to get in better shape. With you, the negative talk that you were talking about, how do you overcome that because you're on the treadmill and it feels like you've been there for an hour and you look down and it's 15 minutes and you're like I got 45 minutes of this right more, how do you more time more time how do you overcome that what do you do to keep your mind entertained or to stay on that treadmill listening to positive music or positive talks on from my phone mm-hmm. and now I am reading health magazines mm-hmm which there's different testimonials in those magazines that tell you about the negative talk. I'm reading a magazine that's giving me positive talk. Mm -hmm. So that's a really good motivator for me is reading something where a person is telling you you're going to have the negative talk. So this is what this is how you counter that. What magazines are you reading right now that are helping you with that? It's Women's Health. Women's Health. Yeah, the Women's Health magazine. When you're exercising and working out, how is the soreness that you're experiencing? And how do you overcome the soreness or any pain in certain areas like your joints? How do you uh, manage that? Usually the hot bath helps with that. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Are you doing any type of stretching to, to help with that? You or? know what? Strangely, stretching afterwards mm-hmm. helps me okay. after the workout. Okay. And just a little bit, maybe five minutes of stretching. I guess I'm still kind of limber. Mm-hmm. And like stretching after the workout. Sometimes this is like the first question that people ask. What are your goals? What kind of goals do you have for yourself right now? You've already lost more than 20 pounds. Mm-hmm. Where do you see this going for you? Well, it has to be a lifestyle change, not just a... Uh, I want to be beach body ready for this summer. You know what I mean? It has to be really long term. Mm -hmm. The rest of my life, I have to think about uh, fitness. Mm -hmm. But uh, so for me, it is long term. Okay. I didn't tell her to say that, by the way. Nothing she's saying right now is (laughs) stuff that I've coached her on. So I just want to say that. It's always something I wanted to do to be fit, Mm -hmm. but to actually do it. And like I said, when you when you are working out, it's um, you're fighting yourself. It's your mind fighting your body because your mind wants to do it, but your body doesn't. When you say being fit and being healthy, what does that mean to you? And what I when I say that, is it like a specific number that you're looking for on the scale? Is it a specific look that you want to see in the mirror? Is there a specific pant size that you want to be in? It is more of what I see for myself in the mirror or how I see myself. It, it is also numbers, because I believe that um, a certain weight mm-hmm. would be a good weight for me. Mm-hmm. What number is that for you? For me, looking at my looking at previous pictures of myself, mm-hmm. it would be about 140 pounds. Okay, 140 pounds. 140 pounds at how old? 140 pounds, I had had you. I wasn't skinny, <laughs> but okay. I wasn't. I was a nice side. You was a nice side. Okay. <laughs> I had nice curves. Okay. <laughs> Have you set a goal as far as when you want to get that goal? 140 pounds? But I haven't really set a time to... Um, I haven't really thought about that, but that is a good goal to set. Mm-hmm. I think that's a great goal for you to set 140 pounds. Mm-hmm. Um, I also think that with you setting a deadline for it, it makes it, uh, it does apply more pressure to you Mm -hmm. because it's, I need to get this at this time because I think that a lot of people as well as myself, we set 
these goals that we want, but we don't set a deadline to obtain that goal. So then what happens? We don't set it. And then three, four or five months out, and it's like, we still haven't reached that goal because we never set a deadline. Yeah. So just like you said, I think setting a deadline will be really good for you. I think that you should just think about that to yourself. Um, and I want you to tell me what your deadline is. Any other goals that you have? Any like pant size goals that you have? That may be about a seven. Mm -hmm if I'm remembering correctly years ago. How would it feel for you to reach that 140? I feel good now, so mm -hmm. it would even feel even better mm -hmm. to have reached. Yeah, and that was like more than 20 years ago, so <laughs> yeah. that would really feel good. Yeah. That would, and I, and I really believe that I would feel even better physically, mm -hmm. you know, breathing mm -hmm. as well as anything else. Yeah, yeah. If you reach 140 at your age, that'd be an amazing goal. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, just thinking about, you know, you talking about you being 140, that was probably like the time that we went to like SeaWorld and when we yeah. were going to yeah, Disneyland. Those, yeah, yeah. That's when you was like 140. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's probably like five, eight pounds a month, which isn't too bad. You start kicking up your nutrition a lot more mm -hmm. yeah. with the workouts. What have you been doing with your exercising and your workouts? I want you to talk, tell the viewers what you have been doing. Mostly just, um, running on the treadmill or rather walking okay. on the treadmill and walking stretching um when paying you... attention to my eating habits trying to eat better but not eliminating mm -hmm. you know not totally cold turkey eliminating those things that i don't need to eat or drink okay when you say you started off walking did you start off with 10 minutes did you start off with 20 minutes what did you start off with during the walking process that you were doing well i remember starting off with 30 minutes 30 minutes a 30 minute walk on a treadmill mm -hmm. i would just walk up to a speed that i could handle that wasn't like really tough mm -hmm. for me to being physically fit mm -hmm. or doing physical activity you know just seeing how i improve from there when you're walking on the treadmill are you holding on to the treadmill mostly i am holding on to the treadmill okay i have begun to let go of the treadmill mm -hmm. and stay in pace mm -hmm. and i notice it takes a little bit more to when you let go and, and uh, just walk. Okay. But um, it's also too because I have gotten more into the incline, mm -hmm. you know, allowing the uh, treadmill to incline, which is a more, a little bit more intense workout. Mm -hmm. With your goals, with you wanting to get to 140 pounds, why mm -hmm. do you want to get to 140 pounds? You say that that was the weight that you were when I was born, but why that number? Well, it's because I saw pictures of myself. I knew I, I know I weighed about that much, and I liked how I looked. Mm -hmm. My thighs. <laughs> <laughs> My thighs were fit. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to be the best I can be of myself mm -hmm. at the, you know, at where I am now, my age, mm -hmm. all that right now. Mm -hmm. Just to be the, the best me. What kind of stuff would you do once you get to 140 and, and extra that you're not doing right now? Because 140, I think that's a big goal and, and definitely once you get to 140, you're not gonna be the same person. <laughs> you're not gonna be the same person. You're gonna be doing this and doing that and mm -hmm. doing this and doing that. I'm gonna mm -hmm. be like, uh, where are you at? Oh, I'm, I'm over here doing this. So what? I definitely don't see you being the same person at 140. What kind of person do you think you would be once you reach that 140 goal? I really would like to bike, bike? Not, okay. not motorcycle bike, Okay. Um, bicycle. Um, is this like mountain biking, like you going up and down hills and turns, or is this like you just like, you're going to go on like a 20 mile bike ride? Yeah, sort of. Maybe um, more so the 20 mile bike ride and mm -hmm. then a, some bike, sound, some mountain bike riding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. It may switch up later, mm -hmm. but well, yeah. You have never Maybe told. Maybe in the countryside, Country you know. Okay. Yeah. You have never told me that before about you liking mountain biking or biking. What <clears> interests <throat> you about that? You know what I think it is? It's when you start having a family, that's your priority. Mm -hmm. And you don't really think about the stuff that you would like to do mm -hmm. as a person. Mm -hmm. And now being an adult, with adult children mm -hmm. 
that I don't have to like bathe them, feed them. Mm -hmm. um, I have more, I could put more time into myself. Mm -hmm. It's given me the um, opportunity to think more about what I would like to do. And so biking is one of those things that I would like to do. Something fun okay. as well as that's going to assist you with your physical fitness. So. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, uh, my first interview <laughs> on camera, my lovely mother. She has lost more than 20 pounds. And I wanted to introduce her to you guys as well as let her explain her story as far as her starting her fitness journey, her in the middle and seeing, you know, 20 pounds of weight loss as well as what she wants to do beyond when she reaches her goal of reaching 140. Thank you so much again, mom, for staying and answering all of my questions. I know I asked you a lot of questions. I really, really appreciate it. That is going to be the end of this video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I am almost at 100 subscribers, so please hit that red button. Make me at 100 subscribers. Please get me to 100, and I want to make sure I do another video for you guys thanking you for reaching me to that goal of 100. I am looking to reach 50,000 subscribers, okay? So this is the first time I'm saying that. I want 50,000 subscribers. I'm going to get there, and I can't wait till I reach that goal as well as a bunch of other goals that I personally have. That is the end of this video. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace out.